Well, the way that we really got started with this, our subcommittee held meetings around the state. We wanted to go and visit with the students and visit with the medical schools and the universities and talk to the students and find out what was going on with them, what they were thinking, what was working, what we needed to be doing from a state perspective to help them. And one of the things that really came back to us all the time was the amount of debt that these students had when they graduated. We were asking these folks to go into primary care in many instances, and they would be reimbursed at a lower level of pay because of the primary care pay schedule, but yet they had a student debt in excess of two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars. So we began to look at what could we do to help address some of this debt that these students had so that we could encourage them to go into primary care and locate in rural parts of our state. We talked with our friends at Mercer and discussed this and as usual they came with some of their out of the box innovative thinking and came up with this accelerated program to get that student to get through the school process earlier and with less debt. And I think it's working well. I went to the uh, graduation of the first students down in Savannah that finished this program. They went through it in three years. They were already ready into their uh, residency program. They knew what they were gonna be doing and they were just excited about being out there and, and being able to go to work without that large debt hanging over them. Well, I, I was impressed with the students that I met and the, the ones that I met that were in the program were from rural parts of the state and they wanted to go back to the rural areas and practice and this allowed them the opportunity to do that and the accelerated program I don't think is for everybody. I think it takes a special person to get into that program because it, you're doing that four years in that three year time slot so not everybody wants to do that. But these kids that I met they were, they were uh, dedicated to doing that. They wanted to get out and go back home to their hometown areas and practice, and they were able to do that in less time. And by entering this program, they knew that they had a residency slot. And when you get a Georgia graduate, they do a residency program in Georgia, chances are really good they're gonna stay in Georgia and practice medicine. Well, there's, there's several things it does by having that doctor in these rural communities. First of all, it provides health care. Any community, one of the things they're trying to grow the community, create jobs and do things like that. And one of the first questions they're gonna be asked is, tell me about the education in your community. Tell me about the health care in your community. And if you say, well, we don't have a hospital or we don't have a doctor, unfortunately, you get marked off the list before you ever get any consideration. So by having the people practicing primary care in these rural areas, it helps the communities to have the potential to bring in economic development. And if you stop and think about it, a physician is a economic engine. They hire people, they, they put money in the local economy. So it's, it's an industry too. They don't necessarily manufacture things like, like a plant might do, but they, they help spur the economy. I would encourage my colleagues to take a real close look at this. What I have seen that has happened so far has been really good. The students are happy, they graduate faster, they're able to go into their residency program, they have some certainty about where they're gonna be going and what they're gonna be doing. They're gonna get out of school faster, go into practice with less debt. And looking at it from a state perspective, I think this will help us locate physicians in rural parts of the state that we may, without this, not have had the opportunity to do. So I think I look at it as a really good return on the investment that the state has made in this program. We need to encourage these doctors to remain in Georgia and practice here. And many of the schools have really taken that uh, challenge and have are accepting Georgia students. They're doing their education in Georgia. They're doing their residency training in Georgia. And they're staying in Georgia. And they're going out all over the state and practicing good quality medicine and giving the, the citizens of Georgia quality health care.